What's up guys? Drone worship in your face and I got a fun one here for you. This is something I've actually been working on with Chasing Innovation for quite some time. They're a company that was uh, started from an Indiegogo campaign about a year ago, probably about two years ago now, um, but their Indiegogo campaign didn't kick off till about a year ago um, to complete the product and get it out to people. But um, I've been communicating with them for a little while and I did put a partial investment in this, but this does come to you courtesy of uh, Gladius Drones and Chasing Innovation. Um, I have always been intrigued by underwater ROV platforms ever since I saw the movie Titanic and the Abyss. Um, those, you know, Geek 1 and Geek 2 in the Abyss could go extremely deep. And I always thought, man, it would be super cool to have something like this brought to the market, as I got older, obviously, brought to the market uh, for public purchase. And they finally have it. it uh, we started seeing these ROV platforms about two years ago. Um, but this one has always intrigued me because it sets itself apart from all the other ones. This is the Advanced Pro model, and they also have the Advanced Pro model version 2 now. Um, this is the first Advanced Pro model, I want to say, um, version 1. But this thing can reach a depth of 100 meters, which is roughly around 130 feet. So this thing is supposed to be pretty crazy. And if you guys know anything, I live in Florida here, and I have such cool locations to film from. Extremely clear water. We got the Keys. We got Egmont Key. We got the Spanish Rocks. We have a couple uh, shipwrecks that we can check out. So I thought this would be extremely fun. Uh, so I contacted Gladius, and they were more than willing to talk to me. and and make things happen and uh, so I have one of these now in my possession so we're gonna go ahead and unbox this we're gonna talk a little bit about it and see what you guys think of this the first thing we're gonna open is the uh, Gladius itself let's go ahead and cut this open here all right I'll open the top oh man this thing I already like the presentation already digging the presentation here and by the way this is very heavy so there's a lot of stuff in here. Oh boy. Oh. All right. Gladius Advanced Pro. Let's have a look at the box here real quick. Oh, it just looks cool. Look at those super high bright LEDs on the front here. So this thing is neat. All right, well, let's have a look inside of here. Let me go ahead and open it up. Let's see the first thing we get to here. Push the box back. We'll talk about what this is in a second here, guys. Let's open this. Oh, this is cool. Wow, it comes with a backpack and everything. That is super chill. No kidding. I didn't even know it came with a backpack. All right, let's set the box aside here. Let's get this back out on the table. Wow, this is actually a pretty nice backpack, too. Very cool, man. I am totally digging this. This is extremely awesome. Now, if you do buy the other version, uh, I believe it comes in a massive aluminum case. Uh, but this one appears to have come with a backpack, which is very cool. Very, very cool. Let's see what we got going on in here. I assume there's stuff in each one of these. Yep, okay, so we got some stuff to go through. Wow, this is just nice. This is extremely nice. I was not expecting it to come in a case like this. I'm digging this. I believe this is the Gladius here. Let's pull this out. Oh yeah, it is heavy for sure. All right, let's uh, let's try to be careful here. Pull this out. Okay. All right. Wow, this is quite the unit here, guys. Not gonna lie, this is uh, very cool. These are brushless motors. This is very heavy. I was not expecting it to be this heavy. And definitely good and heavy. This has a two hour runtime. And if you notice, that's actually the bottom, by the way. If you notice, it says fresh water on the bottom. This does have a seawater uh, port for the bottom of this as well uh, to allow this. I, I think it's just counterweights in here is basically what it is. You just put the seawater one on here for buoyancy effect and allows it to pull it down faster. Um, so this is extremely heavy. It feels very durable and well made. Let's check out the back here. Well, there is nothing flimsy about this thing. This is uh, pretty solid quality here. So check out that 4K camera, man. That is beast. Absolutely beast mode. I believe they do have filters and other lenses that you might be able to swap this out for. I think this is just a rubber guard that comes on here that you can pull off. You can actually put filters on the front of this. So that is super cool. Let's see what else we got in here. Oh, we got some little 
Velcro pads that came off. So let's, uh, for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and just sink that back in there if we can. Actually, I think it went this way. <laughs> there we go. All right, let's have a look at what's going on inside these pouches here. What do we got? There it is. There's the seawater one. Yes, and as I suspected, there's a big counterweight inside of here. So this allows it, if, if salt water, if you guys know, salt water uh, has buoyancy issues, things float a lot easier in salt water. So obviously they supplied us with a seawater worthy one to allow it to sink faster. And it would appear they've included some kind of lens on here. I will have to figure out what this is. This looks like a lens cap, maybe for filter installation. If you get filters, that might be what this is for. I'll have to look into that. Oh, I don't want to mess with that just yet. It's my first ROV platform guy, so I'm going to work on the knowledge base here, but definitely very cool. I live in a salt water area, so it's good they include that. Let's find out what's in here. I'm just going to do a raw unboxing for you guys, man. Oh, this is cool. Okay. Let's see. I believe this is a Bluetooth transmitter, if I can get it out of here. And actually, I have this exact transmitter. I think this is an Ipega Classic. Yes, it is. Ipega Classic game controller. I have one of these, so that's cool. They include it so you can draw a... Uh, comes with a big tab... Or, uh, I'm sorry, it allows you to put a big tablet in here, which is extremely cool. Um, so basically, my phone would fit in here. This has been rebranded. This is interesting. Uh, this is a, a, a Ipega Classic Game Controller that's been rebranded for Chasing Innovation, but uh, allows you to just put your phone in there real quick. The one I have is spring-loaded, and then allows you to lock it into place. And you can push the lock down if you want to, so there you go. It's got a nice, wonderful little locking mechanism on the back to make sure this doesn't pull apart or come together very easily. And then this side is spring-loaded. So you would set this up for how you want it, obviously. Not quite here. Let's actually do this. Let's do this. We'll go ahead and put this in place like so. Let's see if we can get this to work out how I want it to. We'll open this one up a bit. There we go. Bring that one back. We'll try to get it centered as best we can. And then we'll turn the lock on here. If I can find it. There we go. There, it's a little more centered now. <laughs> Looks a little better like that. So this is just a Bluetooth controller that allows you to uh, link up to your phone to have complete controls of the drone. Um, like I said, it is a rebrand of a Ipega, Ipega Classic Game Controller, and as you can see, it does fit massive tablets if you would like to get the uh, tablets on there. So that is very, very cool that they've included this um, with the purchase of your uh, Gladius. So we'll set that there for now. Let's go ahead and dig a little deeper here and see what else we got. Okay, oops. I'm not sure which charger this is. I'm assuming whichever is the bigger charger is the one that's going to charge up the uh, Gladius. Okay, so that's that's for the Gladius, and this is the charger for the Gladius, which obviously charges right here. And then this is for the spindle, which we're going to talk about. This is the wire spindle, and we'll get into all that here in a sec. So let's make sure there's nothing else in here. It doesn't appear to be. So let's open the second one up here. Set this stuff aside. So this is the spindle, which actually is the Wi-Fi platform. As you know, it's almost impossible to send a signal through water, which is why submersibles have to come up to the surface or send a buoy to transmit a signal on real submarines. With this, this allows you to hook a cable to the Gladius to send it down. So it's actually a massive wire spindle. It's basically what it is. It's got a ton of wire on it. And it actually floats too, which is extremely cool. So you can set this out as a buoy and you can have the Gladius drag it around in the water. We got another box here. Let's go ahead and just tip it upside down. See if we can get it out of there. There we go. All right. And it has two Wi-Fi antennas on the top, a charge port, and then you can see the lights inside there. That is super cool. And I believe this has a key lock for this. So let's pop this open. Try to explain this to the best of my ability for you guys here. All right. Oh, another carrying case. How cool is that? So we got two cases. That is awesome. I was not expecting the cases. Let's set that aside here. 
Chasing innovation. You guys are awesome, man. I was not expecting to get cases with any of this stuff. So very, very cool. All right. Let's get that side open. Let's pull this out. So obviously the handle to twist the spindle back up. Let's see if we can get this out of here carefully. Make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Oh, very, very cool. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. See how much wire is inside here? I'm, I'm assuming 330 feet of it. <laughs> there are a thousand meters of wire. Just gonna open up here easily. Yes, all right. Oh yes, look at that. How cool is that? All right, we're gonna have to find the antennas. Let's pull this off. Excellent. I'm gonna have to search for the antennas here. They don't look like they're readily available. I'm assuming they're probably inside this case here. Oh, I see them right here. So here's the antennas. These would get screwed on to the top. I think they're the same. Yes, they are. SMA. Screw that on nice and tight. There we go. So this is basically the Wi-Fi base, uh, which either can be set on this wonderful little spindle. As you can see, they have some very, very nifty little wheels here to allow this to unravel itself or pull itself in and you have a very cool little handle here which this is to pick it up and this handle goes on the end right here to allow you to wind it or unwind it and they really put a lot of thought into this this is actually extremely cool i believe if i remember reading correctly the tensile strength of this is almost 200 pounds so you could actually do quite a bit of pulling and yanking if you ever had to not that you would want to but uh, if you were wondering if this is weak wire, it is not. I believe the tensile strength uh, is around 200 pounds before it would start to cause damage on this line. So if you did get it caught on something, you had a little room to kind of pull on it. Not much though, you may want to go down and just retrieve your Gladius. So very, very cool. I see that this also has a charge port on it, which you unscrew. Then you can plug in the charger and charge this whole system up. Very easy, very cool. I see that they have some O-rings in there. That's awesome. So this whole thing is waterproof. And this allows this to actually float in the water if you want to. There's a disconnect. I'm gonna have to figure out how that works. Maybe, I think you just pick up. Yep, you pick up and you pull away. So let's do that. We'll pick it up and we'll pull away. And it should disconnect up here. If I can get it out of there all the way. Let's see what might be easiest here. I don't think there's a button you have to push, no. There we go. Nice little O-ring on there. And this allows the base to actually float in the water like a buoy, like this. So you could actually just put this in the water and it would stay floating on the surface. And it would allow the Gladius to drag it around in the water behind it. So that is extremely cool. There you go. Lights on, power up, power off. Very, very cool, man. There is a ton of technology here but it's also very simplistic. I love that it's not complicated. There is so, this is something that like, I think anybody could really pick up and uh, start messing with immediately. This seems to have a key line up on it, a key guard. There it is. I found the key guard. So let's make sure we don't get any of this uh, <laughs> all kiboshed. So that is the look, the first look at the Gladius uh, 4K underwater drone from Chasing Innovation extremely extremely cool this does shoot in uh, 4k and I'm actually gonna go ahead and put the resolutions that this shoots in the lower left hand corner of the screen so you guys will get an idea of what you can actually do with this um, this thing goes very deep so I think at 75 feet you actually start to lose sunlight uh, and I believe at around a hundred feet it goes pitch black if I remember correctly um, so this thing does, like I said, it has these supplied uh, extremely bright LEDs on here. So this is the first look and unboxing of the Gladius Advance Pro version 1.0. And uh, I'm going to have to set all this up. I have a pool that we're going to be testing this in. And the reason it's really considered more of a drone type than underwater, I mean, it is an ROV, but the sticks and the command controls are about the same as a... Uh, as a drone. Uh, this actually has acro. They have a version of acro for this. Uh, they have self-stabilized mode and they have acro mode. So for those of you that do fly acro like me, it should be similar, 
probably not quite the same, but similar. There's also gonna be a tad bit of latency lag that you're gonna have to work with because it is Wi-Fi based. But this is extremely cool. I wanted to say big shout outs to Chasing Innovation for sending this. This is the quick unboxing and showing you guys what's going on. We have a whole lineup of videos coming for this. So if you haven't uh, subscribed to my channel, make sure you do that because I'm gonna have a ton of fun with this. We have a lot of cool areas to put this in. This is something that is extremely user friendly for everybody. There is no complication to this. The app is extremely easy to use. We will go over all of that in some upcoming videos. This is the first look of the Gladius 4K drone. I hope you guys enjoyed that the uh, unboxing review of this, and I will see you guys on the flip. Drone worship, and I'm out. Toodaroo.